Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to talk about winners aren't losers. It's about really about mindset. Um, I want to tell you a story, a cool story about a mine, a gold mine, um, and how that story really relates to business, internet marketing, life, and a few concepts that could really help you and help myself. Before I begin, down below in the description, uh, there's a link. And if you do click on that, there's actually a training on, um, I believe, the most important part of internet marketing. What is that? It's converting. Yes, converting traffic into sales. Um, all right. Now, I watched this video a couple days ago about this gold mine out in uh, Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, it has a really fascinating story, very educational. Um, a, a man named William Keyes goes to a valley. Uh, he has some horses, and this gang steals the horses from him. And he, met, he meets another guy named Frank, who has a very similar story. And Frank discovers this gold mine, and he wants to develop, but there's this gang there. And he's like, ah, I don't want to mess with the gang. I got this gold mine. There's this guy. H how about you buy the rights to the gold mine? I'll sell it to you for a thousand bucks. So he takes them up on the offer. And William takes on three partners to reduce the chance of being killed by this uh, this gang, the horse stealing gang. Um, and he kind of develops this very small mill to process the minerals. Uh, it's like a two stamp mill, pretty tiny. And a wealthy rancher named Brian, um, you know, somehow discovers you know this whole mill, this gold mine, and buys out Johnny's partners. And um, it's around 1895. Uh, that's the time. And the next year he found uh, basically a steam powered 10 mil, Ryan did, and brought it there. So they're making a lot more money, both of them, right? And what happens next? What happens in, in business, right? Yeah, one person gets greedy. <laughs> so Johnny started cheating Ryan out of the money. Oh, Ryan didn't like that. So he gave him a choice. Either you sell me, um, you know, sell me out. You know, so I take the meal, I take everything, you know, I'll, you know, whatever. Or, or you go to jail from cheating me or I kill you. <laughs> uh, so uh, Johnny sold and left, you know, because he screwed the partner over and he's gone. So Ryan has the whole gold mine now. What, he, what does he do? Oh, yeah, he goes deep, deep. He goes, he builds railroads. He builds a huge operation, huge system to extract as much gold mine from this uh well, much gold from the gold mine, you know, from the vein. He dug 300 feet down. Guess what? Produced millions, millions for him. And the lesson I got out of the story is that um, it's better to go deep. And gold mines are still around today, um, literally, but also figuratively. Because, like, look at internet marketing. Look at e-commerce. Uh, I mean, any career path, vending machine, I don't know, you name it. So if you go deep in one area and you really know a lot about it, you experiment a lot, you, you get mentors, you, you're going to make more money than if you just dabble. You know, and the problem with dabbling is, uh, well, people are impatient. They want success like now. I want the cookie. And that's the problem. Now, obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. Insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Uh, you know, you have to, you know, if something's not working, you got to try some different things out. You know, I like the expression, whoever experiments in life the most wins. I think that's from Ty Lopez, who's very successful. Um, and same thing with internet marketing, whether it be affiliate marketing or e-commerce, whatever. There's a, there's a learning curve, okay? Um, and you can shorten that curve by listening to people who know what they're doing. Okay, and uh, if you try to figure it out yourself, I mean, you, you'll, you'll get there, but uh, you're going to be making all these mistakes. So learn from other people's mistakes rather than making them myself. <clears throat> and um, my story is I've experimented a lot in Internet marketing. I've been around this game for a very long time, way before the Panda. Panda. In fact, the f first product I got was Backleak Battle Plan <laughs> by Sean McLean, who's got the uh, he's got another blog up. I don't know if he's still around, but... It's basically how to get a bunch of backlinks to any web page to get the first in Google. And then, of course, you know, they had came out with all these updates that messed it all up. Um, but <clears throat> my number one mistake, I make a, I made a lot of mistakes in internet marketing. My biggest one was in converting um, in the email marketing and how to actually convert dollars, well, traffic into dollars. 
Um, so I actually had, uh, I'm pretty successful in video marketing and YouTube. I had an older channel. It was in another niche. Um, and I had millions and millions of views. Okay. I could, I could get it ranked. Or I, could, I, I could do all that stuff, but I, I made some money, but not that much because of converting. And you'll see this with videos out there. I mean, the number one video was that Charlie bit my finger. And if you look how much money it made, you know, compared to all those views, it's not that much. It really isn't. Um, so if I had to do it all over again, uh, maybe you're new in internet marketing or, you know, maybe you're like me and you screwed up a bunch or maybe you're super rich. <laughs> okay, I don't know. But if I had to do it all over again, <clears throat> I would learn how to convert. I would reverse engineer it. Learn how to do the uh, convert the traffic into money. Find the product and then the traffic is the last part. Because it doesn't matter how much traffic you get if you can't convert it into dollar bills. Okay, so reverse engineer. And another example is just look at Jordan Belfort. Remember the, the Wolf of Wall Street movie? What made him super rich, you know, apart from the fraud and all that crap he went to jail for, supposedly, but supposedly, is um, it wasn't that he found a niche in the marketplace, which was the $5 stocks he'd sell to super rich. No, it was his method called the straight line closing method that would teach any dumb dumb off the street and go okay listen you can close now you can actually convert it was the converting part without that he would have made no money okay and what happened when he learned how to convert he then uh just he just you know he did also all mathematics he just replicated he hired people and they converted company is worth 400 million dollars he owned half so he's worth 200 million and then he went to jail <clears throat> I think it was for two years. I don't know, I forget about that. But uh, and then he came back out and did consulting, and then he brought his wealth back up. I believe it was almost close to 100 million. So he did really, really good. He came back. Um, another example is Warren Buffett, which I've been uh, learning a lot about uh, Warren Buffett lately, <clears throat> and he's got an interesting story. But yeah, he ripped and run from uh, Benjamin Graham. That's what his teacher, his whole. But Benjamin Graham didn't have the courage. He was too diversified, and he didn't really go spend too much of his money. So he had some good returns, but what Warren Buffett did is took his concept deeper. He went deep and he was saving every nickel and penny he had. He had 10 grand coming out of high school and he was buying uh, really good stocks, but he would go all in on one on a couple stocks. That's where he disagreed with Benjamin Grant. He went diversified. <clears throat> so he went all in and then he started his partnership and basically, you know, uh, this is actually even more interesting. I'll share this with you. Uh, he would get half the upside above a 4% threshold when he partnered with somebody to invest their money. And he took a quarter of the downside himself, a loss. So if, if Warren Buffett took your money invested and he broke even, you know, he would lose money. Uh, but he had an interest, but that, he leveraged other people's money with that, that system. All right. I'll just share one more example because I think it's kind of cool. Just another thing. I'm, good, I'm sharing some examples here, but Ray, Ray Kroc, remember McDonald's, you ever see that movie? It's pretty good. But yeah, he took the idea from the brothers. Well, shit, that's a good idea. And he went deep and he just franchised the crap out of them and he made a shitload of money. And he, even he said, probably with people in that movie, he said, they just don't have the persistence, man. You know, they don't have the thick skin to take the, the, the punches and, and the losses or the failures or rejections or whatever. You know, they don't stick it out. They're impatient. Or, or they, you know, they don't go deep enough. And that's the lesson that I got. What do you think? Am I wrong? You know, how about your own life? Where has gone going deep helped you? Let me know. If you like the video, if you learned something, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, another idea, like I said, if you're already interested in internet marketing and you want to learn how to convert, one of the best places to do that is by clicking that link below. He is really good, okay? The proof's in the pudding, okay? The guy makes insane money, okay? He knows what he's doing. Listen to him, um, and you will make some money too, okay? Anyways, I wish you the best. Uh, take care, and bye.